Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message I'm going to be tuning in to the Divine Feminine Energies. I'll be using Stop and Smell the Roses, Counting Blessings on the Sacred Journey by Angelic Revelation 144. And I have the first card here. I welcome new souls into my soul family and take them under the shelter of my wings. My beloved Divine Masculine, I've been very discerning when it comes to the people I uh, allow into my sacred space. I'm connecting deeper with my soul brothers and sisters because these are the relationships we'll be taking with us into our permanent harmonious union. Connecting with soul family helps me connect with you, my twin flame. They support us on our journey back to union. We have lifetimes of history with our soul family, but only eternity with one another. Restoration. And maybe a moment of pause, a moment of tempering, and that's all okay. It's all unfolding exactly as it should be. There's alchemy happening right now. We're putting two things together to make something new. Chemistry, make it work. Fitting together, blending together, keep trying, the mission will be fulfilled. Stay on course. Don't be distracted or disheartened. We're going to do this with ease and grace. We're figuring it out, trial and error. We're being brought together by the divine. Heavenly beings are protecting someone. We're undergoing a rebirth. It's going to make us feel like the world and like the world is a new place and like new people. The seemingly unsolvable deuteronomies between ourselves and the world suddenly seem to be easy to navigate and effortless. Synthesizing what society wants and what I believe is no longer a chore but a magical act that I love performing. I can hold two opposing views in my mind without feeling I'm going crazy. This is amazing. My inner voice is so clear and strong that I move with confidence, never questioning my choices. It's like I can do anything and whatever I do is touched with magic, grace and perfection. This is certainly sure starting to feel like heaven the closer I come to you. Easy grace in the face of intense pressure or difficult circumstances makes the situation seem extraordinary. Choices, actions, thoughts, words all seem touched with alchemy, with everything containing the perfect amounts of truth, compassion and strength. It's a case of not only mixing equal parts but finding the right ratio. Combine the best parts of your reason with intuition and you'll discover a magical elixir of perfect grace and ease no matter how messed up and crazy the situation. Trust your inner voice completely. Your words linger in my mind. Or if they were harsh words, if you, for example, told me that you didn't believe that we were twin flames, that it was crazy, that's okay. Because I've learned not to approach you and tell you things in order to get validation or in order to get a response because you won't be able to do that. Only I can do that with myself. So anything upsetting that you ever did say to me, good. That's where I've been going. That's where I've been working. That's where... You've indicated to me that I need to love myself. And by healing through 
these places, these blocks, these upsets. And that's when you get a 180 degree shift. Because pretty much with everyone's twin flame, the message is always saying, you're not getting any closer, we're not getting any closer. And then just do the work. And then it's, boom, I don't know what I was talking about. Come closer. So thank you for triggering me. Thank you for showing me where I must go and where I must work and where I must love myself. A lot of money. Oh, I'm moving. A change in events is forecast. I indeed, I am indeed a divine feminine falling in love. My perception is so heightened from listening to my own intuition, following through with. Ideas of mine that are, arise from it. From the perspective of absolute authentic freedom, we must let go of prejudice and restrictions and let our emotions flow. Follow your inner calling and create something new, however abstract it may appear to the rational mind. Oh, sorry, I had a bit of an editing issue there. Regret! Yeah, I've been feeling a touch of regret. Maybe it's just what's leaving. Maybe it's what, I, what I'm upheaving. But... But I've been thinking I've been on this journey for so long and still ain't got nowhere will I ever come together with my one true love. But this is stuff I've been carrying within me for a very long time. And I'm feeling it now because it's been cleared. If you don't feel, you can't heal. There's so much really old energy of regret, of hopelessness, of unworthiness, of everything coming up right now. And yeah, I'm really going through it at the moment. I just need to focus on the peace on the other side because that's where our harmonious union also lies on the other side love is the way of walking gratitude and try then today to begin to learn how to look on thing all things with love appreciation and open-mindedness so however unpleasant something seems we don't want to concern ourselves with seeming right now we're going to be tested again and again. And we're going to be asked every time. Are you going to run back into fear? Are you going to run back into ego? Or are you going to choose love? So just choose love, choose love, choose love. Whatever challenges are sent our way. I take pleasure in the passionate connection I have with my divine partner. I allow my body to give and receive pleasure through sacred sensual lovemaking. So this is the bit that's coming. So, but take pleasure in the passionate connection that we have now. Take pleasure in whatever communication we do have, even if it's just internal, because I'm already with you. I'm already with you. Right now. Do you not feel me now? Do you not connect with me now? Don't we share one consciousness? You can't be separate from me. I'm already with you now. You're already with me. 
No one needs to convince anyone or try to get something from anyone. You do you don't need to get me to do anything for you or vice versa. Our harmonious union has already been given to us and it cannot be taken. It's already there. Simply remember that. Remember union with the divine and with me and you have it. It was always there. We just remembered it. You can't remember it if you're remembering fear instead. You can't see it if you're choosing to see fear instead of peace. But your good has always been there. Simple process. Divert your attention away from fear. Direct your attention to love. Choose that direction. You will be healed. You know, it's not the signs and synchronicities that you want to be bothered about. They're just very nice reminders of our connection. But they point to a feeling within. Ding, ding, ding. I'm already with you right now. Can you not feel and see our union? This is real. Okay, everybody. Oh, I could have gone on then, but I'm going to take a break. I really hope that you enjoyed this message and I really hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.